The three infected there. 26. Uh, what a bummer. Right. Right. Fuck, we got me. Real. No, you got a problem? A problem? Pilgrim, you gotta help me. I'm in deep shit. Real fucking deep. If you don't help me, that bald thug, my uncle, will beat me. And he's got hands like cast iron frying pans. The last time he hit me, I had a lump on my forehead as big as a horn. Uh, like some fucking rhino. And it came in rainbow colors, too. The horn, I mean. What did you do to make your uncle angry this time? Nothing yet. But I will in a moment. Like any normal person. I took a nap and then, boom! I was asleep like a frog in a swamp in winter. The worst part is that the sausage is on the verge of rotting. In this day and age, throwing away good food is a crime. Okay, nearly good food, but it won't give you the shits quite yet. If it's eaten in the next hour, everyone will be fine. Okay, maybe one of them will run to the bathroom. Better than starving. After all, no one has shit so much they stop being hungry, right? But in three hours, everyone's asses will explode like shit geezers. Then comes the puking. My uncle would just fucking kill me, and the rest will feed my corpse to the infected. I'd hurry this food over to them myself, but I still have to prepare the smoker. This stuff doesn't make it. Well, you know what will happen. Show me where to go. Jesus, you can't even imagine how important this is to me. Just grab the food rations on the table and hurry up to deliver them. Meet in the morning. Looking for a job? Our cook needs an assistant.
me? You are awesome. I know you made it in time too. I met one guy who ate a sausage sandwich and he was fine. He even called it tasty. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got some spare time? Because if you do, because I got another sausage run to prevent the... This isn't an urgent race like the last one, but in this weather, you have to be careful. 27 steps straight ahead, then six. Team more steps, turn left. Dodge the three infected there. 26 plus 82. 108 steps plus the length. Oh! <laughs> 
I started to wonder, where is God? Is he putting us through trial? Has he abandoned us? When Black Monday came, I no longer had any doubts. There is no God. There never was. Because of the THV Genmok bombings, two million people lost their lives. The streets carpeted with human corpses. What god would allow that? He would have to be infinitely cruel. Other so-called men of the claw offer nonsensical observations. The will of God. Punishment for our wickedness. And Colonel Williams himself served as the hand of God. But that didn't matter anymore. The curtain had been torn off. People lost their faith. Because what were they supposed to believe? No one wanted a god like that. To take the water and in that back. moment, yeah. to my own surprise, I felt <laughs> free. As if I were a puppet who finally cut the strings that controlled him since birth. Free at last. Looking to enlist, citizen? Hey, are you hitting on me, buddy? <laughs> Not at all. Although... Ah, no, something else. You see what life has done to you? Even your reaction to the word fun proves it. Entertainment? What's that? Playing a guitar? Talking around a... Nobody knows how to party anymore. And people need to earn fucking wine. So, what did I do? I created this great game. Ultimate, because it's one, and Fury, because it's fueled by emotion. And the last part, wait for it, Cricket. Ultimate Fury Cricket. Cricket. Yeah. Used to be a sport where you hit a ball with a bat. It. And what's new about fighting the infected? What's new? is that you just make pure fun out of it. How about that? No jobs, people trying to get you to rescue them, no clearing out buildings. You just get out there and take your frustrations out on the fuckers. So if you feel like it, just step into the arena and pick up the... Just promise me one thing, bro. Stay away from my brother, Ron. He's a fraud and a Four. He he tells everyone he came up with Ultimate Fury Cricket, but it was me. Captain said she had the brass knuckles all along. She's something that kid. <laughs> I nut six infected today, and counting.
When we're on a break here, I see all these miserable faces, and I think nobody loves themselves anymore. There was one way to learn how- but Nobody? Ever again? That sounds a bit extreme. Hey, are, are you some kind of spiritual guru trying to recruit me? <laughs> oh no, please. Hanging around near the metro station in considerable sick. But I used to be a florist down in Trinity. I had a shop there. The blooming tulip, near the bazaar, when it was still the Church of the Holy Trinity. I was raised in an orphanage, among a multitude of apathetic... But after the outbreak, people stopped buying them. Well, that's understandable. Certainly, but... Uh, there was this old lady. She'd come every day, as if nothing had changed. Her visits, until one day she didn't show... What happened to her? Her flowers ate her alive. How should I know? I was growing these special pink roses for her. And I simply couldn't throw them all away. So I kept... You're bumming me out. I'm gonna go. Hey, wait! Maybe you... She never said where she lived precisely, but I asked her once where she kept all her... F she said... In a beautiful house made of glass. Here. Take the rose. Please find the house and give it... Thank <laughs> you. 
A house made of glass. Reminds me of that flower lady. Hmm. Maybe I should check it out. Farewell, flower lady. So this is her story. I understand now why she went to his flower shop every day. Her son should know that he was loved.
Yeah, I found her. I'm afraid she... She had passed away. So... She... She did, yes. She wrote a letter and actually mentioned you. She did? Yes. Here. I think you should read it. This old lady was... My mother? So many times as a kid, I imagined how she'd look. A feeling I could never see mine. Knowing when, in fact... She... I never expected that she... <sighs> Thank you, Aiden. Love isn't dead after all. I'm, uh... I'm gonna need some time alone now. Thank you for giving her the rose. I'll uh, see you around, Aiden. A beekeeper or a brewer? I'm both. That's the secret of my double bark. You must have noticed most beer in this town tastes like piss. Well, you're not wrong. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Nobody cares about taste anymore. Was that surprising? The truth is, so-called brewers now are... <laughs> and you're a pro, I gather. You bet. And it's an excellent time for my trade. Demand for beer is higher than ever. Right after the Undertakers? <laughs> right. <laughs> nice one. As for me, I'm dedicated to nurturing my yeast. Your bees? Yup. You know what the secret ingredient is to brewing? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Honey. And to harvest the best kind of honey, you need the best fed bees. Speaking of which, maybe you could help me with my bees. Feed them some sugar? I have my own special beehives in the area. I can try. We're... First, you need to find the bags of sugar I've left nearby to feed them. If you find the bag... There are three of them, all close to each other. The first one is on a rooftop just nearby. The second is on the rooftop of the main terminal building, below this big tower covered with a peacekeeper's bat. And the third one is on the top of the main terminal station. Please do it quickly. Business is so brisk, I've neglected them lately. Yes, I'm more of a brewer than a beekeeper, after all. Oh, about like a sugar, I can save Barack's bees from starvation.
Another bag of sugar for Barak's hungry critters. Third bag of sugar. That should take the sting out. <laughs>
Hurry up, man. My bees are starving. Go on and... Done. Your bees are gonna live. Fantastic news! Thank you. Here's a souvenir for your effort. And if you're ever in the neighborhood again, you could still help me. My bees have voracious appetites. <laughs> 